Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your mobility fusion workout. This is day nine of your no repeat challenge. This is also a great standalone workout that you can do at any time and I'm gonna give you lots of options to work to your fitness level. This is an active recovery, no equipment workout where we will get some cardio mobility, some bar, some Pilates and yoga. Six minute blocks, it's gonna go by quickly. You're gonna leave feeling refreshed. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, we are going to start just checking in with our posture and our alignment. You're gonna have those feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, little soft bend in the knees, core engaged. Roll those shoulders back, and I want you to think about stacking the ears over the shoulders, shoulders over that rib cage, rib cage over your pelvis, pelvis over your knees, knees over your ankles. So really think about that pelvis and that core engagement. If your pelvis was a bucket of water, we don't want the, the water to pour out in the front or the back. We wanna have it nice and stable in the beginning. Let's do a few deep core breaths. Remember, inhale to expand 360 degrees all the way around. Exhale, pull everything in and up. Just getting familiar with that core engagement. Inhale, expand, exhale. And we are going to go into our first six minute block and it is cardio mobility. Let's start with a little march and roll of those shoulders. So this is gonna look a lot like your traditional warm up because that is essentially what we are doing in that warm up is we are getting the blood flowing, we are getting everything ready to move, we're getting good dynamic movements, movement prep, and lots of mobility work. So we are gonna get it done and we will get our heart rate up as well. I am still healing a little bit of a shoulder skin surgery that I had about two weeks ago. So I may have a little bit of a limited range of movement. Let's go up and down. I might modify a few things, but I'll give you those options as well. So let's take it out nice and wide. Let's roll through our back, flat back down, round it up, take it flat and round. We'll get one more and let's get that heart rate up right here. Tap and reach across. So I love putting this in almost all of my warm-ups because you're opening up the hips through here, you're turning full body rotation, and you're really reaching across, right? So you can decide if you need a little more of that mobility, you can keep it nice and light. If you want a little bit more of that cardio, you can tap it out, get a little more speed, and a little more impact to it. It is totally up to you and what you need today. Let's keep this going and reach it over your head. You know what I always say, I want you to be where you are today and that's gonna look different for everybody and that's gonna look different for you day to day. So be where you are today, work to your level, be challenged in a way that works for you. Remember that if you showed up today, you are successful. Let's keep it going 10 more seconds. Everything we do today is going to be in a flow. So we'll have breaks in between our blocks, but if you need more of a break, you just keep it going. Let's bring our knees across. We're just here. You decide if you need a little more of that rotation in your twist, take it here. If you wanna pick up the pace, again, to get a little more cardio, you can. This workout is whatever you need it to be. If you need more mobility, take it a little slower. If you want more cardio, pick it up. Just like this right here, breathing into it. And then we're gonna take our hamstrings to the back right here. Bring it up, flexing it here. If you want, you can take those hands high and really get that pull down right here. I'm gonna keep mine a little lower because of my shoulder. And again, if you wanna pick up that pace or add a little jump for cardio, you can, but we're really thinking mobility, cardio mobility. Let's take it into a side lunge. So step and bring it in. Step, bring it in, let's open it out. Here we go, yes. You can keep it stationary if that's better for you. If you wanna get a little deeper, here to here. If you want a little shuffle, for more of that cardio, you do you. Breathing into it. Open. 
open wide. Yes. Now we're gonna reach it down. So reach down and up, up and through, down and up, up and through. Lower impact is here. Open. Look up to the sky. There we go. We have about two minutes left on this block for cardio mobility. One of my favorite mobility exercises coming up. Catch your breath. I want you to start with that hinge. Reach it up. Take it hinge. Reach it up. Then if it feels good for you and it's good for where you are, take it to that inchworm. Inchworm it back. All the way up nice and slow. If you need a little extra, you can add that push up at the bottom. I'm not going to, but you are welcome to. Just think that hinge. Again, modification is just reaching down, reaching up. I love the inchworm because it's such a good mo full body mobility all down through the back of your legs and your spine. It turns that core on so we are ready to work the core as we will, especially when we get into that Pilates and we get upper and lower. Let's get one more all the way out and all the way back. So from here, world's greatest stretch. We're gonna start with that little tap back. Shoot those arms up. This is our last minute. We're here to here. You decide if you wanna go down with it. We're gonna take it here. Nice and wide. Whew. Take that hand up. You know it. Reach that hand up. You're gonna drop the knee down. Let's go two more. And then you're gonna take that top hand, reach through and up. We'll go four and four, through and up. If you need to do this standing, that works too. Switch your sides right here. Take it down. Stay here if you need to. Take it low if you can. Drop that knee. I'm gonna take my arm down because of my shoulder, but it is up to you as to what you need. Take that top arm, reach, yes. We are almost there. Two more. Last one, step it in, round it up. Quick little breather. I want you to grab a quick sip of water. You can keep your feet moving if you want. We're gonna go into a little bit of bar mobility. So this is why I wanted to do this type of a workout. Again, you can keep the cardio going or take a breather. I know sometimes in these active recovery days, sometimes we do mobility, sometimes we do yoga, Pilates or bar, and sometimes maybe you're a fan of one and not the other. I wanted to give you something where we can mix all of our modalities together and we can get it done, but you only have six minutes to get through. So remember that if you don't love bar, it's only six minutes and you're gonna feel good after. So we're going to start with those toes out nice and wide. Give yourself a minute to check in with your posture, check in with that core lifting, and we're going to tap and reach over. Watch me here. Tap and reach, tap and reach. Six minutes starting now. Here we go. Reach, reach. So you can go down just here. I want you to really think about the stretch. We're here. So if you've done cardio bar where we pick up the pace, a lot of my bar workouts, we get a little more of a burn. We're gonna get a little mix of both today. But again, our focus is mobility. So we're gonna get it done. Right here, we're gonna take them up. Knees. So I want you to get the knees, but your hips and knees are turned out just a bit. So we're here. Everything with bar, we're gonna keep standing. So we have our first half of this workout standing, our second half is on the mat. Big open arms, knees coming here. Should also be keeping that heart rate up, right? And breathe. Four, three, two, one. Let's take those feet out nice and wide. We're gonna go out and in. So it's that nice plie. I like to move my arms so we get that chest opener and that back stretch, right? here. You can even round, open. Yes. Breathe. If any point something needs a break, you can take the arms out of it or you can take the legs out of it. Up to you. 
four more. Four, three, zip up the core. Two, one, take it here. I'm gonna step it out, reach it in. Step it out, reach it in. So I'm doing a big scoop. I'm bringing those heels in together. If you want, you can bring it up. Power up. Three, two, or just together. One, other side right here. Step it out, reach it in. Step it out. This arm is just out. Try not to let it drop. If you need a breather, take it here. You can, straight out. Four, bring it up if you want. Three, two, one. Shake it out, reach, tap them back. We're here, we're going into a little curtsy and we're gonna add a push and pull. So we're gonna push with our triceps to the back, push with our shoulders to the top. In three, two, one. Watch me here. Start with the curtsy, alternating. You're here to here. Thinking about mobility, so hip opener. Get low if you can, if you want. And then watch me, elbows push back, push up. Push back, push up. I love this move in bar because we can really isolate triceps and shoulders. And again, we're not using weights. We're focusing on the mobility. So open up the chest, push and pull, push and pull. There we go. Yes. And breathe. Push and up. Push. Two more. Good. Let's take this one down right here. We're going to tap it back, pull it in. Push triceps, pull biceps. Push and pull. You can keep it higher if that's better for you or a little lower if you want. Elbows in tight. Two more. Last one. Switch your side. Same thing. Push, pull. Triceps, biceps. Yes, you can. Remember, once we get through this block, which we only have two minutes left, then we're all down on the mat. Yes. Two. One, right here. Side leg, side knee, right here. Side leg, side knee. Same side, up to you if you need a little balance. Hold that wall, side leg, side knee. Four more, little lift, and side. So we get lots of hip and outer thigh with both, and then obliques, last two, two, one more, yes. Other side, right here, side leg, side knee, right here. Balance if you need to, and bring it up. Obliques are working hard on both, hips, glutes, outer thighs, side leg, side knee. Four more, take it up, and up. Yes, breathe, last two. One more. Good. Watch me here. Plie, tap, curtsy. Plie, tap, curtsy. Yes! So it's everything together. Don't think too hard on it. I don't want your brain to have to work hard. Just push. Plie, open out. Curtsy, push back, push up. Plie, open out. Curtsy, push back, push up. Yes! Up to you as what you need. If you want to make it more of the movement and the tap, if you want to really get low to really get those hips open, breathe. Notice I'm forgetting about that push up to the ceiling. That's okay. Wherever you are, yes. We got four. Push back and up. Three. Can we get two more in time? Two. Last one. Yes. Breathe, tap it out. Woo. Little tap, shake those arms out to the front. Quick sip of water. Let's keep it going. Guess what? Everything standing is done. We are taking it to the mat. I want you to keep that movement. You can sidestep, you can tap, you can march. Wow. You grab some water and you meet me down 
on the mat. I'm gonna adjust my airflow just a bit. There we go. So take your time, bring yourself down to the mat in a way that is comfortable for you. And we are going to come all the way down on our back. So if you are one of my pregnant mamas, I'm gonna give you quite a few modifications on this, but I want you also to come on your side and to your back. Whew. We're gonna start down here. Join me here. I want you to be nice and long. If you're pregnant, I want you to be here. Big inhale to reach. Exhale, we're gonna roll it up. So join me here if you can. We're gonna roll up. You're gonna fold it over. So it's your Pilates roll up. If this is not where you are today, I want you just to do the halfway and get the stretch up. Just like this, here to here. Pregnancy, I want you to lift right here. But if you can, any version of that roll up, big stretch, exhale, use the core, lift it up, fold it over, back to center, straighten the spine, slowly all the way down. Inhale, exhale, reach. Exhale, pull everything in. If you need a little help, use it here. Don't pull on the back, right here. Yes, we're gonna get one more all the way through. Big inhale, you're doing the bridge. All the way up, fold it over. I want you to fold over in that forward fold. I really wanna get the stretch and the mobility out of this. You stay there. I'm gonna turn a little bit to the side. If you were doing the bridge, roll to your side, roll up to a seated position. We're gonna take those feet out wide, whatever is comfortable for you. Take those arms out wide. We're gonna reach it, reach across, center. Reach across, center. What I want you to think about is the stretch here. I'm feeling super tight in my low back, so that's why that's good for me. <laughs> but also that connection to the pelvic floor and the deep core, not letting yourself sit here. Good posture, right? Reach up and open. Reach up and open. Take it here and reach. We're gonna go one more. Bring those knees in. Little butterfly stretch right here. Give yourself just a few seconds to sink into that because then we're gonna come on our knee on the side. Breathe. Roll to the side, coming up on that knee and up on your hand. Watch me scoop through. Take it all the way down. I'm not gonna come up as high because of my shoulder, but it's up to you. If you want, all the way up. Take it here. And if you want, you can take it all the way on the feet. Three more, or the knee. Last two, think mobility. One more. Good. So I want you to take it here. We're gonna come up on that knee right here. Yes, you can. Watch me right here. Take it over. Use that core to bring it up. Take it over. Use the core. If that's too much, keep it here. I'm gonna keep this shoulder down, but if you want, reach it here and bring it up. Four more, just like that. Four, and up, yes! Three, and up, two, last one, and up. Take the knees here. Let's just go ahead and get this other side. Zip it up right here, open up those arms, ready. Here we go, reach it down bring it up. So here's what I'm trying to do is not push or use my back. I'm trying to use those obliques. Generally safe for everybody, but if you feel any pressure out in the core, the bad pressure, then I want you to modify it. Take it small. Let's go three. Yes. Two. One more. Take it all the way down. So remember you can do this on your knees. Watch me one time bringing it up or all the way up on the toes, join me. Here we go. Big reach, stretch, take it down. I want you to think core and then lift, right? So we're also pushing off of that arm, getting a little extra work. If it's good for you, take it up. I'm probably going to avoid that because of the shoulder, but it's up to you. Feel that mobility, big arm sweep, sweep. Take it up, take it down, yes. Breathe, one more, reach. Good, slowly down onto your side, roll through those wrists. We're gonna start with a little stretch. We're almost done here, bring the knees in. 
So, again, anybody who needs to modify, especially pregnancy, I want you to keep it here. You're just bringing it in, little stretch, pull in for two. If you want single leg stretch, it's that Pilates right here. Take it here. Gentle pull, so you stretch the back. Yes. Or here. And if you're really feeling good about it, you can add that crisscross if you want that extra core. Otherwise, just get the stretch. You can make a total stretch or you can add core. Four, three, two, one. Hug those knees in. So if you are pregnant, early post or DR, I want you to keep it here. Build that stretch, take it out. Hug them in and scoop the arms. Everybody else, we can do double leg stretch. Take it out, yes! Bring it in, take it out. I'm gonna limit this arm movement, but if you can, both legs, both arms. Breathe, four more, so close to the end of this workout. Three, to that last block, which is yoga. It's gonna feel good, two, good. Hug those knees in, gentle roll side to side. This is your last move, feet in flat, arms out. We're gonna bridge lift, flip the arms. Bridge lift, not very many. Flip the arms, tilt the pelvis, bring it up. And here, bring it up. Let's get two more, even though that's our time. Lift, and here, last one. And relax, slowly roll it over. We are into our last block. We have some yoga. I'm gonna give you some options. I want you to first come on hands and knees. Grab that water if you need to it. Let's get right into it because the first thing is just a stretch. We're here, we're going cat-cow. So knees beneath the hips, hands beneath the shoulders. Here we go, round through and bring it up. I want you to inhale and exhale, right? Exhale as you lift, release. I want you to think what we talked about when we were standing about that bucket of water on your pelvis, right? We tend to be able to have more mobility in that upper back and then it, it stops right here, right? So I want you to dump that bucket and then dump that bucket to the back. Dump that bucket into the back. Take it here and up. Dump it forward, dump it back. Really think about that pelvis mobility. One more, yes. From here, let's reach that arm under. I'm not gonna go very far, but I want you to get that stretch if you can. You can lean into it. You can make it more of that child's pose right here. I'm gonna go here, keep my arm a little closer. If you can, I want you to really extend for three, two, one. Other side, reach it under. So you can lay down onto it, hips to the back, whatever is good for you. Again, really reach across if that works for you, right? Getting it done. Whew. We're gonna take it here and then back up to all fours. We're gonna do that reach and rotate. So if you can, open up back to the center. Reach it through, open up. Back to center. You can keep it here on the knees with me, or if it's good for you, reach, open up. Full plank, back to center. Yes, you can. Reach, back to center, or stay on the knees right here. Reach, center core. Big mobility, stretch. One more each way, take it up. Whoo, and back. Last one, good, sit back into that child's pose. Let yourself have permission to really breathe into that. Open those hips, drop those knees. <laughs> Again, try to really lengthen in the arms. I'm gonna, I'm gonna favor this one a little bit and bring it back. Here's what we're gonna do, team. We're gonna start child's pose to down dog. Watch me here, I want everybody to stay here if that's what's good for you. And then we're gonna push it up to that down dog. You can pedal or you can hold whatever is good for you. Then drop those knees, stretch it back. Start here with me. If you need to just hold the child's pose, take it there. If you can add the down dog, take it in. You decide what you need. If you wanna hold it a little bit longer or if you wanna get a little bit more movement, take it up. If that is good for you, stay right there. If you want another option, we're gonna take it up dog. Here, up dog or cobra, 
to down dog. As you know, you gotta go through the plank in the center. Take it here slow, 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 slow. Bring it up. If that is not right for you, you just keep that child's pose. We are almost there, I know. Woo. Take it forward, down and up. Give yourself time to get into that. Again, you can do modified cobra or cobra or up dog, whatever you need to do, bringing the hips off the ground or not. Push it back. One more, all the way through, wherever that is, child's pose. To the down dog. Good work, team. I want you to turn to a seated position. Let's bring those legs out in front. Hip opener right here. So we're here. And if that feels good, we're gonna open up one at a time. You take your time, use your hands in the back. If you're feeling good, you wanna get the core engaged, take it here, up to you. If it's good for you to look over the shoulder, if twisting is okay for you, I want you to take it there. Two minutes, you can do it. So close. Rotate it here and through. One more right here. Last one. Take it here. All right, so you can stay here if that's good for you. You can cross it over if that's better for you. Or if you're able, I want you to take it into that pigeon, opening up the hips. I don't care if it's perfect. I just want you to get that stretch and the hip opener. So I'm here. So you have the option to stay here or take it up to your hands and we're gonna take it to that plank. So you can stay here or if you want, we're gonna reach back, same leg, reach in and stretch. So you're just coming up to a plank. If that's not right for you, I want you to stay in the stretch. Two more, reach it up and stretch. Last one, reach it up and stretch, hold it here for three, for two, one. Roll those knees gently over, other side. Coming into that pigeon, find what's good for you. What is right for you, if that's down, if that's high, if that's low, if that's seated. And if you wanna hang out here, you can, or if you wanna take it to the plank, we're so close. Take it here, here we go. All we got is four, bring it up. Cross it in, hold for a count, mobility. Bring it up, core and mobility. Last two. Right here, last one. Hold it here. Hold four, three, two, and one. Very carefully, I want you to come down to your side, over onto your back. You did it, that was your last block. Let's finish it out right here. I want you to hug those knees in. So whatever is good for you. If you need to be seated, just letting those knees drop out. If you can be down here, if you can take it to that happy baby and grab somewhere on your feet, you can do toes, you can do heels, you can do ankles, whatever is good for you. A little bit of that happy baby. Relax into it, I know. Whew, breathe. And just very gently hug those knees in. Gentle roll, side to side if that is good for where you are. Right through here. Let the knees drop to the side if that's good. Otherwise you can let one knee, but look across and you'll get that stretch right here. Looking away from where your knees are opening. If you shouldn't be twisting, keep them right here and just open that hip. And very carefully roll through to that other side. You can do one, that's where you should be. Do here, if you've got a microphone that's getting in your way. <laughs> Keep it here, look towards the opposite side. I can't press on that mic too much. And take it here, very slowly. I want you to take one arm up other arm up, feel that mobility. I can't reach too much, so I'm just gonna do one arm. But you can do both arms, both legs. Big stretch, making your body as big as it can be. Reach through the fingertips, finger finger tips, and the toes, not finger toes, but fingers and toes. 
And then hug your knees and make your body as small as you can. And then find that good, relaxed position. Palms are up. Release everything into the floor. We're just gonna take those last few seconds. If this is not good for you, if you're one of my pregnant mamas, you can roll to the side. Otherwise, take it here. Open up the chest. Thank your body for showing up for you today. Try to relax. Just let your body sink into the ground. Think about all the ways your body showed up for you, all the ways you moved, all the mobility that you do have, even if some things were hard, that's because you were working hard. And then very carefully roll to the side. Come up to that seated position. Find what is comfortable for you. <sighs> hand on your heart, hand on your belly, connect with that breath. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your mobility fusion workout. Great job, everybody.